everyone. I am your host Ayushi Kara Sethia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can send Razor Pay payment confirmation message to your customers via Gupshup. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. Razor Pay is a payment gateway and Gupshup is a messaging application. So the idea here is that whenever a customer makes a payment through your Razor Pay payment link, automatically a payment confirmation message should be sent to your customer. For this, we need to create a connection between Razor Pay and Gupshup. So in order to create a connection, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process on my screen. So to start the integration, let us type pabbly pabbly.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabbly. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabbly Connect. This is the landing page of Pabbly Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. By clicking on sign up free button, you will get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabbly Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabbly Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send Razor Pay payment confirmation message to customers via Gupshup. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabbly Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to send the Razor Pay confirmation message. It means whenever the customer makes a payment using your Razor Pay payment link, automatically a confirmation message should be received to him. So open this trigger window and here in the choose application, let us find Razor Pay. In the trigger event, we have to select payment captured. Now here we can see a web book URL and some instructions are also mentioned. So let us read the instructions. Log into your Razorpay account and navigate to the web book section under available under the settings. Okay, so I will just take you to my Razorpay account. Here when we scroll down, at last we can find the settings option. Click on it. And here we can find the web books option. Click on web books. Now here we have to create a new web book. For that, click on this plus sign add new webbook. Now it is asking for the webbook URL. So we have to paste the same webbook URL which we have seen in Pabbly Connect. So we will be copying this webbook URL from here and we will be pasting the same over here in Razorpay account. Now it is asking for the active events. So here I am just going to select the event as payment captured. So this particular trigger is going to run whenever the payment is captured. And let's click on create webbook. Webbook saved successfully. Okay, so the webbook has been saved. Let's move back to Pabbly Connect. And here we can see that it is waiting for the webbook response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to make a payment on the name of a customer. So I'll just take you to my Razor Pay account once again. Here I have already created some payment pages. And here we are going to use this core PHP programming payment page. So I'm just going to open this link from here. Sorry, I'll copy the link and I'll open it in a new tab. Okay, and here we are going to make a payment for this core PHP programming language. Okay, the amount is 350. The course name, let us select it as core PHP programming. Here we have to give the first name of the customer. Let us give it as Adam. Last name as Smith. Email address as Adam Smith. 123 uh, one, at the rate gmail.com. And let's add the mobile number. And let's click on pay. Here I am just selecting my test uh, payment uh, method as card payment. Entering the test card details over here. 
cardholder name as Raj. Let's enter the CVV code and click on pay. Skip saving this card. Okay, and here we can see that the payment is successful. So let's move back to Public Connect. And here when we scroll down, we can find the responses received and all the details related to the payment are captured over here. Okay, I'll just scroll down. Here we can find the first name of the customer as Adam, last name, email address, mobile number, the course name as Core PHP Programming. So now we want that a payment confirmation message should be received to the customer. For that, come to this action window and here in the choose application, let us find Gupshup. In the action event, we have to select send message, click on connect, click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the user ID and password. So you have to enter your user ID and password over here and simply click on save. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now the Gupshap account is connected to public connect. Now here we have to map the phone number of the customer. So we have already received the phone number through the, through the razor pay payment details over here. So we have to map this particular phone number over here. That is the customer phone number. Here the instruction is also mentioned. Let us read the instructions. Enter recipient phone number with country code and excluding the plus sign. You can pass multiple comma separated phone numbers in this way. Okay, so we have to map the phone number. Let us map it from razor pay. But remember, the phone number should not include the plus sign. Okay. Now here it is asking for the message and DLT template. So I have already created a basic template. So I'll just take you to my Gupshup account. So this is my Gupshup dashboard. Here we will be moving to the SMS option. And here we can find the DLT template. So before sending the messages on Gupshup, so this is my Gupshup dashboard. Here we'll be moving to the SMS option. And here we can find the DLT template. So for sending the messages via Gupshup, we have to create a template first. We have to get it approved. Then only we can send the messages. Open just the uh, DLT template. Here I have already created a template in my IT section. That is IT category. And here we can see the variable as 1, 2, 3. So here instead of 1, 2, 3, I'm just going to give the website address over here that is uh, www.pablet.com here you can give your your website address or any other link and let's click on ok so here the message is ready let's copy this message from here and we'll be pasting the same over here in public connect okay now here the template id is required for that i'll just take you to my gupshop account once again so let's come to the template section once again okay from here we can find the template id so I'm just going to copy this template ID from here and I'll be pasting the same over here in public connect. Now if you want to create a new template, I'll just give you a basic idea. Here various categories are available. So first you have to select your business category. Okay. Then you have to come to this create your template option and you have to just download this XLS file over here. Okay. So I have already downloaded the Excel file. Here you have to give the template ID. You can give the template name template content, you have to select the message type, message uh, uh, DLT message type, then here the message type, you have to select the mask, business category as well as the transactional line. Okay. And here I have created a template. Hi, here you can select the variables. If you want to mention the name of the customer, your order has been confirmed and your order variable, your order ID is, here you can give the order ID as a variable. Thanks. And here you can give the variable as your business name. So in this way, you can create a template. Okay. So once you enter all the details in this particular Google sheet, you have to just send it to, to over here. You have to email it. Okay. Click on email it. So it will be mailed. And once the template is approved, you can send the messages using that template. And once the template is approved, it will be reflected over here in any of the category in which you have created. For example, you have used the education category. So the template will be shown over here as the way you can see my template over here. So let's move back to public connect and let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a message is sent to the customer. Let us check it. Okay. And here we can see a new message. So I'm just going to open this message. 
and the message is we are offering services please click here please click the below link to register and here we can find our link so in this way the messages will get delivered to your customers okay so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine so let's save this workflow first data saved successfully okay now we have to check this in the real time whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just go to the core php programming page once again and here we are going to enter the details let us select the course first name as shikha last name as arya email address as shikha arya 123 at the rate gmail.com and let's add the mobile number and let's click on pay payment method as card payment let's enter the details over here CVV code okay and let's click on pay skip saving this card okay and here we can see that the payment is successful so now let us check whether the customer has received any message or not and here we can find a new message let's open it and here we can see the message as we are offering services please click the below link to register so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between razor pay and public connect then public connect has captured all the details of the customer and the payment whenever the payment was made and using those details automatically a message was sent using gupshub and in this way we have created a successful integration between razor pay and gupshub using public connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect in case of any queries you can visit our public forum to check the pricing details of public connect you can visit this particular url also the link of public connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone